Hey guys, so we are gonna film today. I have <laughs> I have like this like rayon nightgown on and then I have this polyester robe. I don't know why I feel the need to like tell you the um, material, but nothing matches. I still have to do my hair. I have like a little bit of like, well, it's like face powder back here. But yes, today we are going to film. Like what I wanna do is like a whole bunch of haul videos, like, uh, every single fucking thing I bought this summer. And I kind of went through my like emails, wrote everything down, gathered everything, and it's too long. So what I think I'm gonna do is do, kind of break it off. Like obviously I'm gonna do, I've been kind of doing drugstore diaries throughout the summer, so that's kind of good. So I have maybe a drugstore diaries there also to announce the winner of like some, the giveaway. And then also, I have kind of like an affordable cosmetics haul like a cut that I want to do like kind of like mid-range like Kiko, Topshop, uh, maybe we'll put Asian Beauty in there. Maybe, I don't know. I always like sectioning off the Asian Beauty videos. It's just easier for you guys to like search. And then I think I might do, yeah, so kind of all the high-end stuff. I have like a CCO thing that I have to share with. I have so... I've been buying lots of makeup this summer. I just really haven't been sharing that much of it with you because I haven't been filming beauty videos that much. However, I want to get on that. So that's today. I will talk to you guys later. I really want to get back into vlogging too for you guys. I took kind of a break and... Um, first of all, I'm wearing color today, which I'm sure many of you will be very like proud of me for. Uh, I wouldn't make this like some kind of like... Um, what do you call it? like expectation because it's just not really what I'm gonna do but um, I am in a place called Macedonia uh, I just came to drop off something for work and I figured well on the way here I wasn't familiar so I didn't really want to vlog but I figured it'd be a really great time to kind of do some catching up with you guys did you guys see how my camera just came crashing down yeah I haven't used this um, <laughs> mount for a while so I think it just kind of like undid itself a little bit at least there's no damage to the camera I don't think okay so yes on the way here I figured it'd be a great idea to vlog on the way back to catch up with you guys because I haven't vlogged in a while I'm sorry I keep fixing my hair but like uh, okay after I got back from Seattle I was kind of tired my flight came in it was like late and you know that kind of thing and then a week after that I got sick I like really sick like I lost my voice I couldn't talk my throat hurt it was horrible and for like two weeks I was really really sick and then I'm still kind of sick now like in the evening I still kind of have a cough cold not cold but cough and then like you know with the summer there's like allergies a little bit like tearing in the morning so I haven't been wearing a lot of like makeup on the lower lash line because there's no point I just end up with this like weird gap on the sides where I'm like leaking also I didn't know this maybe I've just never I'm not sick that often I might get sick like once a year and my mom was saying how like in the summertime when you get sick it usually takes way longer for you to recover which I don't know that kind of sucks I guess it's true because it's been like four weeks now and I'm still kind of like Ugh. I went to CVS yesterday and I did really good I had like tons of coupons and I had like 25% off coupon and I did so good when I get home I think I'll like do like a small haul for you I got like a lot of like my like usual kind of toiletries hair stuff and then I also picked up a few lipsticks that I'll share with you so I'm kind of excited for that all right guys so today is a Saturday I have a video uploaded a Kiko Topshop haul um, I will link that below if you I always feel like when I do my makeup I get so much powder on my hair and then it looks like gray hair anyway um video is up and I'll link it below like I said I'm gonna pop into the office for a little bit I don't know if you can see this background like that I have like an office chair like a red office chair back there I don't know where I'm gonna put that I've been doing a lot of rearranging of the house I was threw out not threw out took everything out of the second bedroom and I'm kind of creating like a beauty room this room right here I have this stuff it was like a futon plus like a chase that was put together to like be a queen size bed but now it's out here with like all these kind of like <laughs> outlier pillows I don't even know what's going on there and then there's this thing which it's kind of like an ottoman slash coffee table that I got when I first moved in and I really don't like it I might get rid of that these two bar carts are from Target and they're always expensive I think there was like 129 or 119 but I got one for 40 
and the other one I might have gotten for like 35 or something. I don't know. So those are there. I kind of have my plants and my Buddha, like a Zen area. And then Echo's cage, which she really doesn't even use that much, which is just sitting there for now. A big plant that's like leaning towards a window that needs new soil. Um, not new soil, like more soil. And then, oh, I should share this with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I posted a picture of me at like a tattoo salon. And I was getting a tattoo, which is like... This one, is it gonna focus? Yes. Okay, there we go. So it's in, it's like in a Tibetan script, and it says, this too shall pass, and it is really beautiful. Um, I really love it. I don't know how much to really say about it. I've just, if you follow the vlogs, I've talked about a lot of tattoos, maybe like at least three that I've had in mind for a while, and I'm just gonna slowly get them done. <laughs> and then this nose ring, I wanted a nose ring for forever, probably like a decade, uh, as long as I've had like these tattoos planned in mind. But, um, you know, I've just always, uh, I've always wanted one. And then, you know, again, if you've kind of followed this channel for a while, you know, I was dating an Indian guy, we got married, went to India, and it just seemed too like cliche or like try hard to kind of get like a nose ring. But I've always wanted one because I always thought like, you know, I'm not someone that can do like, or not someone that can't but I always felt like I'm with someone that could do like more subtle things like smaller tattoos and like smaller piercings and like I just always wanted a nose ring and I finally got one and I love it the placement is perfect obviously this is like a placeholder because um my lashes are looking so fakey fakey right now but I don't do you see this like there's like a mascara and like fake lash situation happening so hard right now um Let's just zoom out a little bit. Uh, I've this is a placeholder. I'm gonna get like a diamond that lies that lays fairly flat uh, here. So that will just wait. I have to wait for this to heal up, obviously, before I can do that. All right, hey guys. So we are in the car. I just <laughs> posted something to Instagram. I like stopped kind of posting to Facebook because I didn't. I don't know. It just like wasn't matching up the right way. I don't know. But I think I'm gonna start like posting to Facebook again. Um, and even though I want to include like all the deals I find like on Instagram, I feel like Facebook's like a better place for it. So I might, Instagram and Facebook will be fairly similar, except Facebook will probably include like all of the deals I find. So if you want that, I think that's where I'll post those things. Uh, because I don't really want my Instagram to be like all about sales and stuff, you know? So that's that. What else do I want to do? Okay, if I do two videos a week, would you guys want... I like I really like posting on the weekend because I feel like that's when I actually have time to watch videos too I don't know about everyone else or maybe like if you're in school you're at home you have more like free time during the day but would you guys I would probably be more likely to post like a haul slash review or what like a, like a makeup video and a vlog on the weekends should I do that like, upload them both at the same time or like you know not upload them but like you know schedule them both to go up on the same time or would you guys want like a vlog during the weekend and like a makeup video during the week i'm not really sure where to go with this it really is up to you I almost, my phone almost fell down Ooh, let me show you my new phone case it's really pretty it's one of those uh what do you call it? it's like fully like studded and everything this one is like done in rose gold um and it's by felony case and i think i got it off of guilt I think these are kind of pricey, but you know, when you get them off those flash sale sites, they're like at least half off. So I really like this one. Um, uh, right now, I think I mentioned it earlier, yeah, on the way to the office, and then afterwards, I'm going to go to Walmart to pick up daylight bulbs because my vanity, which I mean, for like a couple years at least, none of the bulbs have gone out, but one of them went out like this week, so I need to go replace that. I like my Tyrannosaurus Rex hands. I've taken out uh, the stuff in the second bedroom and it's gonna become a beauty room hopefully plus where I'll film and stuff and then I'm just gonna be rearranging stuff in there uh, it's like I have those like an Alex drawers like the wide ones but I'm not really sure that I want that to be like my makeup thing I know it's like it's like the easiest way to do it it's like the most functional it lays out beautifully but it's just like this is gonna sound so like who do you think you are but like I just really don't want it my uh, makeup vanity thing to look like everyone else's like I just don't want it's like I love the Alex drawers and I think I might convert it to like a jewelry armoire thing like jewelry sunglasses that kind of thing 
in my bedroom so I might switch that around but like I really just want my vanity to look a little different you know like if I do a makeup collection video or a makeup storage video I don't want it to be like in here's more Alex drawers so I know that sounds like a little hoity-toity to get off your fucking high horse but like I just I want it to be different I don't, I don't know maybe I shouldn't apologize um, okay anyway so I'm at the office and I will talk to you guys you know on the way to Walmart office done um it is raining so you're probably gonna hear that golden island pork jerky this is the korean barbecue flavor if you guys have ever gone to costco this stuff is so good i've seen like the stuff at world market where it's like smaller bags and they have all like i don't know at least four or five different other flavors but it's like way more expensive just any kind of jerky is so expensive you guys notice i'm always like Ugh, do i want to spend on it but this is some good jerky mm. okay so attractive right now, right? Let me chew this like a caveman. Shove my finger in my ear because it's really itchy. So I'm gonna be at Generation Beauty in New York. It's really excited. Me and Andrew are gonna go. I can't even, when I talk about it, I'm just like, I can't, it's so exciting for me. And it's more so getting to see Andrew because I mean, obviously you guys, if you follow this channel or if you follow his channel, you know, these two real tight and uh, we have not met yet. We text probably daily many times or we talk through Instagram, whatever, but uh, yeah, we haven't met. I'm so excited. I'm excited to eat and shop and go out. Look at Andrew's beautiful face. Sit on his couch. He has that beautiful kind of blue velvet looking couch the Claire Marshall couch and pretty sure that's gonna be where I'm sleeping but I'm so excited picking out outfits for the cocktail party and just like I don't know if it, I don't think it matters so much what we wear to the event but mm. oh, super excited okay so I went to Walmart I told you guys to get daylight bulbs they used to sell them in like a three pack or a two pack and I don't see them anymore. They have like LED, like dimmable ones with like a fancy like base. And it's like, oh, I think it was on sale for like $8 per bulb. And then I think originally they're like 12 or $13 a bulb. And I'm like, sorry, there's like, the like gum is keeping my teeth together. So I'm like having trouble <laughs> communicating. So that's kind of an issue. <laughs> I have to figure out where they're. And I went on my phone and looked to see if it was just like my store not having them no i just i don't see them on walmart's website like nothing so i don't know now i don't want to have like one like rogue weird looking bulb on my vanity so i'll show you what i got i picked up three necessities i got the roto cool drops they're like under five bucks at walmart i think at cvs they're like almost eight dollars so i have this one I keep one in my purse and I want to keep one like, I'll keep one in my vanity, but I keep shifting it back to my purse. So I want to keep it, you know, one in each place because this is like integral to the makeup routine now. Like it's getting to like, you know, sit down and do my makeup and I apply the drops first. Once that kind of, you know, works its way and then I put like eye primer on. So these are fantastic. I got the Spring Valley Biotin 10,000 micrograms, 120 for like eight bucks. This is always sold out in store and it's generally sold out online, but um, there were two. I probably should have got both of them, but um, this is good for what? 120. I should be good for about three or four months, uh, depending. Well, I take one a day in the morning, so I got that. I picked up, I've been really into wearing lashes lately. Uh, I don't know, like they're generally I only wear them when I film, but I've been kind of enjoying them on like an everyday basis. So I got the Salam Perfect Demi Wispies. I'm obviously going to have to cut these into like like a two-thirds kind of a situation but um i'm currently wearing the kiss 11s and they're very similar looking but i think the kisses the kiss ones are much more dense and for my eye it just seems a little overwhelming for daytime like i have them on today you, you, know, you can totally see how overwhelming they are because once i apply some like mascara to them it looks a little like too much like i know some people maybe can like rock you know lashes like this on the daily but uh i can't like i would probably just wear these to film or something because they're a little more outstanding i feel greasy anyway i got these they're like four for eight something it's by no means like warm out but it's definitely muggy and just enough to 
bring a little shine to the surface. If you are oily and you enjoy uh, blotting papers, I highly recommend the Bosha Black Charcoal Blotting Linens. They smell really good and I think out of all the ones that I've tried from Bosha, because I've tried the green tea, the lavender, the mint, these are the most effective in terms of like absorbing oil and it has to be because of the charcoal. So I love these. I, if I see more of these, I will definitely continue to purchase this one specifically because you, you, I tend to only have to use one or only have to use like one side instead of like flipping it. So it's a random recommendation if you're oily and you like blotting sheets. Now, <clears throat> I didn't have breakfast this morning. It's around, let me see what time it is. It is 12.07 and <sighs> I had that beef jerky coming in. It was beef or pork jerky coming in. So of course it's like fall time, right? You guys are gonna be like, this is ridiculous. But I mean, it just happens. I couldn't decide. I actually, I actually did really good. <laughs> I actually wanted to pick up way more than this. I have the Loft House caramel apple cookies. So it's like an apple cookie with like a caramel frosting. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? However, um, in Ohio, we have a place called Marks, and they carry a lot of Loft House cookies as well. And I always, always really like them. So bad. I feel so embarrassed. Like you guys aren't even watching this right now. I'm only filming it and I feel so embarrassed. My voice is going really high. Okay, I have the pumpkin sandwich cookie. And this is by the bakery. And it's pumpkin cookies with cinnamon cream cheese filling. Why did I do this? Why? I'm oh I know, okay, there's more. Pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies, also by the bakery. Why? The only, I cannot even think of a justification. Okay, fall. Fall. Fall is a decent justification. Also, I'm getting my period next week. This will get me through, right? Okay, would it be bad if I try to have like one of each cookie right now? I might do that. smells so good oh my god okay I can't have these look at these like pumpkin sandwich cookies maybe I'll have one of these like later oh they smell so good okay let's drive at least today we'll be like walking around like shopping or whatever not shopping but like all right I'm gonna just put this gum out I get so distracted with text messages sometimes. It's like certain fucking people you don't really want to respond to sometimes. Mm, yeah. All right. This is the pumpkin snickerdoodle. This is amazing. Oh my god. I love snickerdoodle cookies. Having that element of pumpkin in there is ah. Uh, mm. All right, I will make room. Mm. <laughs> okay, next cookie, the Loft House Caramel. I highly recommend. You're at Walmart and you see uh, the brand, The Bakery. Is it a Walmart in-house brand? I have no idea. But the pumpkin snickerdoodle. Especially, I, they tasted so fresh, like they just like brought them in today or something. Okay, now this is the caramel apple from Loft House that smells ridiculous. Like for people who are into like candles or like melting whatever things, this is definitely like one of those scents that you guys would probably love for your home in the fall. I'm not like that. I burn the same scents all year round. I'm not, I definitely don't like food scents. I think as food as I go is like a lemon, like a citrus scent and that it does, Hmm, I totally thought it was gonna be like an apple cookie with caramel frosting. No. The frosting is very apple-y, which is delicious. <laughs> Do I have crap on my face? Oh, that's so good. 
sometimes when I think things are really good, I'm like, is it because I'm hungry? No. Mm -mm. Okay, come here. I got the Echo. Um, I really want to get uh, eat another cookie. That could be bad. Uh, so in the meantime, I went to Burlington. I got some home stuff. You can see that thing in the back. Um, I just had a banana, so hope that's not on my face. But uh, I'm doing this the wrong way. I parked wrong. I parked in front of a different garage this time. Okay, so I went to Burlington and Marshalls. I guess. I will do a little mini haul for you guys when I get home. Um, the home stuff and all the like kind of hair, body, etc. Hey you! Anyway, okay, so first things first for home stuff. This is like my old mat. I, this came with the house. I'm pretty sure it's been here since like, you know, the 15 years. So I saw this one. Ooh, it's really pretty. I got it at Burlington. It was a $5.99 and I thought it was really pretty. So this is the new one. So I this is the backyard and I didn't have one back here. So I figured just put the old one back here for, you know, cause it's still useful. I didn't want to really throw it out, I guess so. Okay, so continuing with the home stuff, I got this at Burlington. It was $59.99 and it's a really beautiful piece. Um, I haven't decided, you know, if I'm gonna put it long or kind of the short way, but the short way, the horizontal way, but it's beautiful and it's glossy. Typically these canvas type things are like, you know, canvas material, but this one's a super glossy one and it wraps all the way around. Beautiful. Okay, so as far as the rest of the stuff I picked up today, oh, and I picked up some jewelry. These are by SNK Signature. They're just three pairs of hoop earrings, but they're really like nice ones. You know what I mean? Like they're very shiny. You're gonna focus. They're very shiny. And I just like the sizing a lot on these. They were $4.99. Sometimes, you know, like the smallest one is like too small and then the largest one is way too big. I can wear all of these sizes perfectly, so that's great. And then I got this really cute cuff and it's by Sophia and Kate, $5.99. It's kind of like a brushed band through like three, like a trio of bands through and then you get black and then it just kind of keeps it keeps doing that. It keeps doing that all the way through. So I don't know. I thought very me. I very much enjoyed this. Okay, I picked up a, one of these twirly towels because the two I have, like a turby twist, the two that I have are very, um, they were like light blue, but they work really well. But naturally, because I dye my hair, they look disgusting. So I found this one. I don't know if this one's any good. It also, it, I mean, when I read the description, it seemed very similar. But I have bought another one before and like even though like you you know you flip your head over you put it over your hair and then you twist it and then you uh, secure it in the back I didn't find that that one really worked that well or maybe I have really long hair I'm not really sure so hopefully this one will work out because I can kind of get my hair dye on this and it won't look too ugly like dirty all right this is by the brand bio keratin it's the keratin moisture repair shampoo and conditioner for dry color treated hair formulated in Italy. They were $6.99 each. I don't know, I'm just gonna try them out. Uh, if you have watched my channel, there I have no like loyalty to any kind of shampoo. I change my shampoo out pretty much every time I buy shampoo. So, I mean, the smell smells nice. I was reading the ingredients. It just seemed to go straight up from water, argan oil. Anyway, kind of excited to try these kinds of shampoos. I tend to go for moisturizing shampoos because my hair is dry. Uh, it might not look dry. It might look really beautiful and shiny to you guys, but it's dry hair It's incredibly misleading especially if you touch it um, Especially lately. I need to get a haircut. I have a haircut on Monday. So I'm pretty <laughs> very very excited for that I went through and I trimmed my ends two days ago because it really was feeling so dry Conditioner wasn't even absorbing into it But now I think you know after trimming it and I washed my hair last night. So now it's looking real Kind of like smoother and shinier. Um, this is a brand I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of, Rusk. This is their Sensories line. So I have the Rusk Brilliance Color Protecting Shampoo and the Rusk Nourishing Conditioner. They both smell so good. This one's in grapefruit and honey. This one is 
guarana and ginger every they had so many of this like scent in their shampoos yes okay uh i have two oils they're by Am amir uh, I have the rosehip oil, 100% pure rosehip oil. When you buy oils, and maybe people who use oils, you're very, you know, you're familiar with how to buy these. But like, if you're not familiar with oils, always make sure what you're getting is like 100% or organic or something like that. Because they, oftentimes it'll be like, oh, argan oil, pure argan oil. But the first like six ingredients won't even be argan oil, and then it'll be like the seventh ingredient. And yeah, it might be pure argan oil in there, but it's not the primary ingredient. Nor are you getting 100% of that. So. Uh, this is rosehip oil. I'm interested in it, A, because I just like rose oils, and I find that a lot of people have been into them for kind of like softening your skin. Uh, not that I need my skin to be softer, <laughs> but uh, for winter, I definitely want the texture to, you know, just do as well as it can. Uh, my skin is really soft. Like, my, when I went to get my tattoo done, he was like, your skin is so soft. Like, he was like, not that he was having trouble tattooing me, but it wasn't as easy. So... Uh, also from the same brand, Amir, Amir. Uh, I have the 100% argan oil. So when I look at ingredients, all it says is argan oil. So I really, here's the thing. It might, might even sound like so like generic or cliche to say this, but the Josie Marin argan oil really is my favorite. Not the light, not the light version. I've never tried that, but I just really love the Josie Marin argan oil. I've tried other brands that claim to be, I, I shouldn't say claim because it might actually be 100% argan oil, but I just like the way the Josie Marin performs. Like, I don't know what to say about it. Like, it's just like my personal opinion, like, or personal experience in using argan oil that that is like my favorite one. So I am I looked these up online before buying them and it seemed like they had really good reviews. Also, these were only $9.99 each for two ounces. I think online, just like on Amazon, they were going for like 20 and 25 bucks, so really good buy there. I bought another bottle of the Glow Moisturizing Body Oil Sculpt. It is a, the ingredients are straight up coconut oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, I don't know what this one is, natural brassica napis oil, plankton extract, coffee extract, vitamin E, rosemary. So. I, um, I've almost finished this. I bought this. Let me see. Should I like, can I get close? I have used, like, I want to say I have like a quarter left of this. Uh, and I use it with my cup. I don't know if you guys have heard of like cupping, but like it's almost like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, oh, Echo went into his cage. <laughs> what a cutie pie. Okay. So uh, I didn't want to explain it. So I just decided to show you. Uh, in Chinese medicine, uh, we have these things called cups and the ones that we use have like a, uh, how do you explain it? Like there's like a notch up here with a little pipe and you can put like a, a gun to it and then you can pump it onto your skin. But this one is just suctioned. You can just use it with your hands and I got these off of Amazon. I will link it below if you guys are interested in trying it. But like, uh, I know I'm not like fat by any means, but <laughs> no matter what size you are, we all have cellulite. If you don't have cellulite, you're real lucky. Like you're genetically, I don't know, predisposed and your skin just doesn't, I, whatever. Just like how some people don't have stretch marks. Like my mom, no stretch marks. Four kids, no stretch marks. I, zero kids, stretch marks. From where, I don't know. So I really don't know if there's anything I can do about stretch marks. If you guys have any kind of like <sighs> remedy for that, let me know. But for cellulite, this 100% works. I'm not saying you need to use this oil, but I think this, I probably saw this on sale at TJ Maxx for like $3 one time in the clearance section. So I just bought it to use with this. And it was so good, so I figured I might as well get it again. And it's only $5.99 full price there. So what I do is I kind of like squirt this all over, you know, the back of my thighs, kind of up my ass, not up my ass, but like, you know, on my ass. And then you just kind of, you hold this this taut, and then you, you kind of make sure it grips your skin, and then you like run it along your cellulite areas. And it breaks up the fat. So... I don't know if it makes the cellulite disappear. I will say that it totally breaks up the visualization of that kind of cottage cheesy look. So I went from having not tons of cellulite, but enough where I could see it, especially when like, you know, light is coming from above. And then to the point where I had none, like you could no matter which angle you looked at, no matter how the light was shining on me, you could not see it. And then I kind of got lazy with this. Um, and so it's kind of back, but 
but we're gonna get rid of it. It's gonna it's gonna be gone again. Lastly, this thing I've never tried before. It's by Ganike or Ganique Paris Beauty Oils. It's an eye oil with maracuja or maracuja. Is that how you pronounce it? Vitamin C and argan oil. I love using the Josie Mary and argan oil under my under my eyes. So I'll usually apply like my eye cream or eye serum and then I'll apply the Josie Mary and oil on top of it. Uh, during the winter or like sometimes during the summer. I'll just use the Josie Mar Josie Marin argan oil So this looked quite promising because again the first ingredient is coconut oil and then sunflower oil argan oil uh, the Americu oil So, you know, I'm about this Should I show you guys what I got clothing wise from Marshall's maybe I will it'll be like a all-in-one haul so these are by Cynthia Rowley they're just like kind of sleepwear pants but I like them because you see this band up here this band is quite thick like this is how thick the band is and they're really comfy and I don't know they're kind of they're not quite summer like they're too warm for summer but they're too cool for winter so right now is like a really great time to have something like that and then I picked up a robe I love robes if you guys watch vlogs I have like a black and white one I have like I think it's like a leopard print one um, I'm a big fan of robes so naturally when I saw like an all-black one I was like oh mine so this one's really nice it's an all-black robe it's by Linnea Donatella I just got it in a small medium so it's just like a black robe kind of like that I don't know silky brushed polyester material and then I got this sweater super cute it's like 20 bucks and it's by ooh, who is it by Cupio I see this brand a lot at TJ Maxx and Marshalls it's just a black and white oh this might look a little big under what I have now but ha what I have on now but it just looks like this it's fairly long so definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this um what do you call it winter time as like a layering piece Hey guys, so it is Sunday morning and is it morning? Yeah, it's still like 10-ish. Uh, that was such an ugly face. Okay, so makeup is done. The hair is kind of done. Uh, I think I still need to like do a little something to it. I just, I only curled it. I haven't like, you know, separated it or anything. Else. Okay, CVS bag in my kitchen. And then I remember why I had left, left it there because I was gonna do a haul for you guys. Okay, so I had $23.50 in coupons. 25% off your whole purchase which knocked off $14.50. So let's see what we did. I got the Colgate Total Advanced Pro Shield. This is really really good stuff. I had never used this until I went to my dentist and he every time I go he'd give me like a little mini bottle of this. And I really liked it because it's alcohol free. It's like the double size and they were, it was at CVS for $3.99 and that was kind of like a really crazy deal. So I got that. Colgate Optic White. This is like my favorite toothpaste. If you watch my empties videos I always get this. This was three dollars but i had a two dollar coupon so this was a buck so totally awesome the tresemme thermal creations heat tamer spray i think these were maybe two for eight had a coupon got them for six so super good deal there okay so i think the l'oreal products were buy two and get like five dollars extra bucks so um, but I also could use 25% on this. So I got the obviously a box of the V48 again There's like only one box of this stuff. That's what the color I dye my hair in case I get this question all the time and I feel like I'm answering it all the time But I'm still getting this question uh, So I got that and then if there were two boxes of that I totally would have gotten two boxes But instead I got this total repair emergency recovery mask. I really like the L'Oreal like is it the total repair? line or the advanced hair care line the ones that are like you know different colors nip fab i have been so into nip fab lately i love this scrub the glycolic scrub um did i say glycolics i did not mean to say that i meant glycolic this is a fantastic scrub and i just i've never tried stuff with a glycolic acid before and i really love it so i got this and i got the glycolic instant fix mask these were already i think 25% off at CVS, which was a pretty good deal. And then I also got, I think, $5, like, extra bucks with this. Ooh, my, like, whole lighting just changed. I got these scoonchi. Is it scoonchi? These kind of baby claws. I use these constantly to, like, clip up my hair. It's, like, so, like, in a weird angle. I usually put my hair up like this. And I just put, like, one of those claws there. And I sleep with it like this. And I often walk around the house like this. Just because... 
it gets my hair out of my face and it kind of gives a little bit of that faux volume so when I release it, it's still up there. There was a deal where if you bought two of these products, I think two hair things, you got like one or two dollars cash back. But, did I say cash back? Like extra bucks. Uh, but these were only $3.99. So if you even if you combine it, you're still under $8. But if I don't know if you guys are familiar, but CVS rounds up. So if you like if you get a reward for spending five dollars, but you end up only spending like $4.97, they'll still give you the reward. Uh, I don't know the exact formula or the exact percentage that you can be off by, but they definitely do that, which is great because I mean obviously. I don't know if any stores actually do that. I think that's really good that they do that. Oh, my hair's bothering me because it's like so poofy right now on this side. And it's like clawing my, my neck a little. Neutrogena. Uh, I have these makeup remover cleansing wipes, the hydrating ones. And then I have this little kit, which just has the regular makeup remover. the sun. It has the regular makeup removers and the eye makeup remover, which I love. Which I always tend to buy the CVS brand, but like, you know, when you can get the Neutrogena, why not? So usually this something like this is like, I would say like maybe 20 bucks for both of these. Uh, but I think this only was $12.99 and this might have been like $6.99 or $7.99, something like that. So all you had to do was spend like five, like 20 bucks on Neutrogena products and they gave you $5 extra bucks and I had the 25% off and I had the five, a $5 coupon for Neutrogena. So ooh, look at how different I look in this lighting. Well, not in this lighting, like once the, the sun disappears. So I got all of this stuff for 10 bucks. Totally awesome. Uh, this is kind of stupid, but like whenever I see these like single paper towel rolls on sale, I just grab them because they're always like anywhere from like 50 to like 80 cents and I just like keep them. Um, and I, this is like a random fact, but like when growing up, like we were like super cheap. Like I don't know about you guys, but like we treated paper towels like they cost like a dollar each and we would never use them. Like they were like re reserved for like such special occasions. Uh, the week that I went, which was I think what last week, the all of the Milani lipsticks were $2.99 or not all the lipsticks all the Milani lip products were $2.99 So I hadn't seen this color before and I think they released it this year. It's called Bahama beige. It's not a matte lipstick uh, It's just a regular so my kind of color. It's somewhere kind of like a Revlon honey bear But a little more pigment and I love the way these smell. It's a very me color It's beautiful. It's actually picking up a little more pink or if you get closer it's like a brownie beige pink color i really really love it um probably one of my favorite lipsticks at the drugstore uh, so these weren't on sale <sighs> revlon lipsticks at cvs are so expensive they're like they were 8.49 each but i had a three dollar coupon as well as the 25 percent uh so and i might have had one of those like three or five dollar off a cosmetics purchase or something so i got smoky rose which is a pearl finish looks like that that's smoky rose i have like a little cut on my hand probably from like echo or something and then i have rose velvet which is a cream that looks like this so that's smoky rose and that's rose velvet smoky rose looks fantastic on me when i put rose velvet on i feel like it went like oh am i how to focus i feel like it went really pink on me and i just i don't know if i really liked it that much i might return it i'm not sure or maybe I, if I do like, I don't know, like a more brownie lip liner or something. I don't know. The prices were really good on them, so I don't know if I'm going to return it. But I really enjoy, especially this Bahama Beige. If you guys kind of follow me and like the lip colors I wear, the Bahama Beige is like lots of sunshine right now. Bahama Beige is like such a great color. And if you're familiar with the formula of Milani lipsticks, you'll love it because it's great. So basically I had like so many coupons, the 25% off. I think my total went from like $97 to like $63, which was awesome. And then I got $19 back in extra bucks, so maybe you guys will see another haul soon. Echo, come here. I get so shrill when I talk to him, when he's like chewing random stuff. Come here. What are you doing? What are you eating? That's yucky. You want to say hi? Echo, what? Um... All right, so I was saying I, I like wait when I have like a ridiculous amount of extra bucks I like waiting for the 20 25 or 30 percent off your purchase coupons because It just makes shopping there so much easier. So even though You know the original price of a lot of things is way cheaper at Walmart, but when you kind of like balance You know, I don't know. I was gonna say play the field but not play the field when you kind of uh, 
when you kind of like save up your coupons and like wait for the right sales, uh, CVS can be incredibly inexpensive and you can even kind of get stuff for free. So, uh, yeah, that is like a little mini CVS haul today. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I was going to take my mom to Sephora. Uh, she has been using the Dermablend Smooth Indulgence Foundation for like two years now and hers is out and I really don't think they're selling it anymore so we're gonna look for a new foundation for her and I really want her to try the YSL Touche Cloth foundation I actually have it on today I don't know if it's gonna show up that well but uh, I think I just wanted to put it on today and give it like a what is happening here it's like four different colors uh, I do think I just wanted to try it out again today just to make sure I really wanted her to try it out because I don't know it's a little light for me today but it's okay, I don't know.